Okay, so I want to talk about this 12,000 year cycle that various, you know, people talk about, right? And I feel like this is the exact sort of number or years of this 12,000 year cycles, 12,096 years. Because I was, you know, when looking at this uh, cosmic reset, this solar reset, or this, this Gaian reset, um, I was sort of drawn to these, these 84 years that the planet Uranus cycles, right? Its orbit, um, it takes 84 years for Uranus to orbit, okay? And so I wanted to see how that connected with this 12,000 year cycle. <coughs> okay. And I noticed that this number 142 was very close to um, 144. So I just tweaked it a little bit and got this even number of 144. Okay. So Uranus cycled 144 times in 12,096 years, okay? And this number has this sort of, you know, significant um, vibration to it, right? Where it has all these different connections and synchronicities and vibrations. But one that really stands out is, it says the number of cubits that measures the rampart of the celestial Jerusalem, okay? which is talked about in Revelations 21 of the Bible, where they're talking about this new heaven and new earth. Okay, so here we have these numbers connected to a potential, you know, solar reset, right? This guy in reset, and it's talking about a new heaven and new earth, which I feel like this is what it was sort of you know, reflecting, right, um, this sort of re planetary rebirth, right, this new earth, this new aura, right, um, these new astral realms, a new heaven, and a new earth, okay, because it mentions the 144 cubits, okay. So that is a, it seems like this number is, um, you know, significant and it is pointing to this sort of 12,000 year cycle, okay? And Googling this number, um, it showed up here where they talk about this, um, the yugas, right? where they talk about the Kali Yuga and that type of thing. And it says here, it says the four ages of the Yuga system, and it talks about the Bronze Age is two Yugas, which is 12,000 and 96 years. Okay, so that's another sort of significant um, connection there as well. And again, it's talking about, you know, it dwells into the pattern of creation, destruction, and the renewal. It's that saying, these new ages, these new worlds, and that type of thing. Okay. And if we even look at the, you know, sort of the astrology or vibration of the planet Uranus, right, it is the planet of change, of sudden change. So here you have this, you know, sort of, planetary rebirth vibe going on and it's this planet of change okay and then look going back to this number we can play with the other planets as well right because that's just um, Uranus and right so 365 days that's a year so the planet Earth you know, it's orbited um, 
12,096 times. But we can also check, so 12 divided by this number, Jupiter. So that would be Jupiter. So Jupiter um, orbited 1,008 times. Okay. So we can search that number and it comes up. It says this is the god, this means Shiva is des designated by 1,008 names. Okay. And Shiva is, you know, the god of destruction. Okay. So <clears throat> Shiva is the god of destruction. And here we have this. You know, it's called this, you know, 12,000 year destruction cycle, which I would just call, you know, it's just a cosmic reset. It's just a solar reset. It's just um, a Gaian reset, right? Okay, and then something I just noticed now, it says Mount Kalish. I've been sort of researching Mount Kalash, Kalish. But it is said to be, I know it has this very strong connection with um, the North Pole, where people have found that it is. You know, it's found to be 6,666 6, kilometers from Stonehenge. And there's all these connections which connect back to the North Pole, okay? They just found this sort of repeating pattern that connects um, Easter Island with Stonehenge with the North Pole. And of course, this, you know, there's this pole shift where it has shifted to the North Pole, which we feel could be connected to this, you know, Gaian reset. So there's a lot of connections, a lot of synchronicities here, where I believe this 12,096 years is representing this guy in resets um cycle okay because 12,000 years ago that is when there was you know the younger dryas or there was this sudden shift to cold weather and then there was this sudden shift to um and then it abruptly ended, right? Where the temperatures became very hot very quickly, okay? So it seems like we are on the sort of summit of another sort of, you know, planetary shift, right? Um, a, a, a sudden change on the planet, okay? And it wouldn't be a surprise if it happened you know, 12,096 years ago from, you know, either this March 23rd, 2023 date, or maybe it's the, you know, 2012 date or any of these other um, very strong vibrational dates. <laughs>